Greetings, this is Pastor Lance Lee of Fresh Anointing House of Worship, The Promise Kids Kingdom. So very glad to be back with you once again. Having an awesome, important topic is this word called humility. It's such a needful word, one that you need to get in your heart and you need to live and let live in you. It's so important because if you don't have it, if you don't walk in it, you cannot truly please God. So, I think we need to learn what that's about and what we can do to get it going in our lives. So to get us started, I've got an awesome young man named Caden. He's going to give us today's verse right now. For those who exalt themselves will be humble, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Luke 14, 11. Great job, Caden. Everybody, yes, that's right. <laughs> good job, good job. So that verse says it all. And guess what? The one who said that was the all-important Jesus Christ. He said this verse. He said, if we try to exalt ourselves, we'll end up getting, up getting humbled. But if we humble ourselves, if we humble ourselves, God will exalt us. So important. That's from Luke chapter 14, verse 11. So how did that verse come about? Well, actually, it comes at an interesting story. Luke chapter 14, here in your word of God. Uh, the book of Luke is the third book in the New Testament. And so right there in chapter 14, we see something happen. Jesus is invited to the home of a Pharisee. Now, this was an important religious leader. He's invited to come in and eat and so forth. Jesus was often invited into people's homes. Uh, obviously, he's Jesus. Many people want him there. But then people like this, this Pharisee, oftentimes they wanted to come in. They wanted to talk to Jesus. But sometimes they wanted to trick him. They wanted to try to trap him into saying something. So... Jesus comes in and he notices something that's going on. As it was the custom at that time, you had a table. Of course, we have tables now. If you go to sit down and eat, you eat at a table. Most people do. So at this table, they've got the head of the table, which is the most important place. And all the people were trying to get as close to the head to, in, order, in order to say, hey, I'm important. So they're trying to get in the most important seats. Jesus noted this. And he said, no, 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 guys, don't do this. Don't try to put yourself up there at the head of the table. No, no, no. And then he said, "If you see, when you come in, actually choose one of the lower places. Don't try to put you up at the front. He said, if you put yourself in the lower place, consequently, the person at the head will see you and say, recognize you, you're a person, you have some importance. I'll say, no, no, come up here. Come sit up closer. And he said, there's an honor in that. He said, but if you're sitting there trying to get in the most important seats, it's possible they're looking at you and say, hey, you got somebody else's seat. You need to move. And you'll be embarrassed. And then Jesus said that verse, and it's so important we get it. If we try to exalt ourselves, we'll end up getting humbled. However, if we humble ourselves, we will be exalted. God will exalt us. Now that's such an important key because it's so important that we grab hold of this thing called humility. Now I'm going to show you why, okay? Humility is so important to God. It's so important. So we need to do what we can to walk in it. And the first thing we need to do is this first step right here. It's this one. Don't think of yourself as number one. Don't put your focus on yourself as number one. Now wait a minute. Isn't that the way this world works? Everybody's got to be number one. Go be number one. Be everything. Well, the thing is God's kingdom is very different than the world's kingdom. If you're going to truly serve Jesus, you've got to get a different mindset. You're going to have to get a new way of thinking. And in God's kingdom, actually, the more humble you are, the more God exalts you. Whereas if you try to be number one, to be top person and always in charge, always out front, always the one getting all the attention, guess what? God doesn't like that. You see, you can't be all about you and try to make everything about yourself or you number one and not get into pride. Now, why is that bad? I'll tell you why. You see, pride is when you're all about yourself. You don't want to listen to anybody. You want everything to be about you. You have to have your own way. You've got to have, be the best. You've got to be the one, okay? Now, I'm all about being excellent. Matter of fact, if you're on a team right now and you're going for a competition, playing a sport or something, do the best you can. Try to win, yes. But you know what? You can be a champion and still be humble. You could be the, per the top person overall and still have a humble heart. You see, true champions, one that really have humility, they recognize it's not all about them. Matter of fact, they recognize that others around them help them get there. And they're constantly trying to recognize folks that help them. They applaud, for instance, their coaches. They applaud their teammates. They point out that, hey, I didn't do this all myself. I needed help. You see, humility is recognizing that you do need help. It's not all about you. And the thing is this, if you get into pride, which is the opposite of humility, if you've got pride in your life, that's terrible. I'll tell you why. 
Because number one, the Bible says God resists proud people. He does. He resists them. He doesn't want them around them. They stink, if you will. God just sees pride like, ooh, that's terrible. It causes them to push you away. However, but he gives grace, the Bible says, to humble people. And if you're humble, then God will lift you up. You see, a proud person, they're headed for a fall. The Bible says in the Proverbs that pride brings destruction, and a haughty spirit will bring a fall. You're going to end up falling if you get into pride. So you don't want that. And one of the best ways is to not make everything about you. Not that you've got to be number one all the time. No, no, no. The second point is the next part you need to consider. And that is this thing called serving others. You need to serve others. That's right. You see, the Bible gives two powerful commandments. Jesus said, as he said, the first and most important commandment of all is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. That's right. To love God. Not to love you. <laughs> the problem with so many people is they can't ever really serve God because they so love themselves. But God says, no, no, no. You need to love God first. And then Jesus said there's a second part to this. You need to love others as much as you love yourself. Which means you need to be like Jesus. And what did Jesus do? Jesus came here to serve others. That's right. He was all about doing for others. He fed people. He laid hands and healed so many people. I love those great stories like you see where somebody like with leprosy came up and Jesus reached out and touched them. He's willing to touch people that had horrible diseases. Many of these people had terrible disfigurement in their face, but Jesus touched them. Why? Because He cared. The Bible says many times He's moved by compassion. He looked around and saw people hurting and He just was moved by that. Wow. And that's the way we want to be. We want to recognize those around us that are hurting, that are needful, that need our help. We want to care for them. Serving others is to follow Jesus, to follow example. And that is a great way to gain humility. When you get your eyes off yourself, you get your eyes on serving others. And then there's the last one. You choose to be humble. And when you do, ah, God ends up exalted. See, that's what happened. When you make a choice to be humble, and you're not trying to be number one, you're not trying to always be the first in line, to be the first of everything. No, no, no. You're caring about others. You're looking after them. You're making sure they're taken care of. And you're choosing to be humble. A humble person will listen. A humble person, you can talk to them. You can tell them, hey, that's not right. And they'll listen to you. They'll consider it. They're teachable. But a proud person, like, now why are you tell me that? They don't want to listen. They don't want to do anybody tell them they're wrong. They're the one of these people, you know people like that, you just can't talk to them because they always have to be right. Oh my goodness, those are the worst, okay? So, and unfortunately, I've been that way far too many times, okay? But if you choose to be humble, if you're not trying to constantly exalt yourself, something happens. The Bible says, those that humble themselves, if you humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, God will lift you up. He will exalt you, that's right. God does exalt you when you trust Him and you do what He says. Humble yourself, look after others, serve the needs of others, care about others. Put God first in everything you do. Don't make it all about you. Again, if you're playing, if you're trying to do something, be great at it. Try to do the best you can. Okay, you can be a true champion. You can win trophies. Okay, and still have a humble heart by looking after others, recognizing it's not all about you, and being willing to serve and keep God first, and always be willing to acknowledge where others have helped you and helping others out. So that's the way we need to be. We need humility. We need to walk in God's ways and have a humble heart. So I want to pray for you about that right now because this is so important that you grab hold of this in your life. You are not going to be the person God's called you to be if you've got pride or arrogance in your heart. You've got to have humility. So right now let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for everyone that's watching this. Lord, I just pray right now in the name of Jesus, you would touch them. Lord, I pray for great conviction to come to their heart. In any way they're refusing to listen, God, if they refuse to hear when others point out things they're not doing right, Lord, when they've got everything, it's all about them, God, and they're consumed with their world and their life and just advancing what they want. Father, I pray right now, divine conviction on that, that humility would come, repentance would come. Lord, I pray for everyone watching this that's walked in pride right now, the grace to repent and to acknowledge their sin and to turn to you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Well, once again, I really appreciate you watching this today. Let's turn and let's have a humble heart. Let's do things God's way. And He will exalt you. He will help you. Whatever your situation is, He will help lift you up out of it if you'll do things His way. So, thank, again, thank you for watching. We'll see you again next week.
I think it's time to make a change. It's time to turn some things around. I'm gonna stop and rearrange. Take myself and lay it down, down. Put someone else in number one. Side two.